witnesses also say that the RNC is digging up dirt in Arkansas. I mean, listen to this. We're writing a Hillary Clinton book now. I mean, we've got a research team that is in Little Rock. I mean, so we're not going to be shy about what we're doing. How many people do you have in Little Rock? We're going to get whatever we have to in order to share with the American people the truth about Hillary and Bill Clinton. I mean, did I miss something after 20 years? Don't the American people know all about the Clintons? I don't know. If, if people believe that Ryan's Priebus is going to come up with something new in uh, Little Rock, I've got a land deal in Arkansas I'd like to sell you. And that was Dana Milbank with the Reverend Al Sharpton on MSNBC. The facial hair, Dana, no, don't, no, not working for you. Anyway, uh, Webster, Webb Hubble, he is the former U.S. Associate Attorney General, law partner of former Secretary of State and Senator and First Lady Hillary Clinton and likely presidential candidate in 2016. But most importantly, he is the author of the new book, Ginger Snaps, a Jack Patterson thriller. Out May 21st, right around Memorial Day, good summer reading. Looks like coming up from Webb. And also, When Men Betrayal, a thriller. So, Webb, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it on this Martin Luther King Monday. Thanks for having me. So, Webb, I, I see so many possible Republican candidates coming to the forefront, from Mitt Romney to Jeb Bush to Rand Paul to Chris Christie to... Scott Walker, I can go on and on, but it seems like there will be at least 12, I'm guessing, uh, Ben Carson, I didn't mention as well, uh, Republicans uh, fighting for that nomination. And Charles Krauthammer had an interesting perspective on this. He said the reason why so many Republicans are coming forward to challenge, most likely, uh, Mrs. Clinton is because she isn't an intimidating candidate and they feel they really have a great chance to win. How would you respond to that? I think that's the exact opposite. I think they they don't have a front runner, and so they're 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 going all over the country trying to find somebody that at least has a chance. Uh, frankly, I don't think they have anybody. Well, certainly uh, on the Democratic side, uh, Mrs. Clinton, unlike 2008. We keep hearing about Elizabeth Warren and, and Joe Biden obviously may throw his hat into the ring as well. But right. it, poll after poll that I see, uh, it's double digits by far everywhere for uh, the former secretary of state. Uh, when it comes down to it, in your crystal ball, you, you, you sort it all out. Hillary Clinton gets the Democratic nomination. Who do you think will be ultimately the general election candidate that challenges her in 2016? Well, wow, that's a tough question, but I would I would bet it's going to be Bush. I think it'll be a Clinton-Bush race again. And, and what do you think about the fact that if you go back to 1980 and George H.W. Bush being vice president for eight years and then president for four years, and then Bill Clinton, obviously, two terms from 1992 to 2000, and then George W. Bush from 2000 to 2008, when you add up all the numbers, you're looking at 28 of the last 36 years of Bush or Clinton being president or vice president. Uh, do does the American public at some point say uh, enough and we, we want something new? I know Mr. Obama, President Obama obviously is at something new, but uh, why do you think the Clintons and the Bushes keep getting these at bats? Well, I, I can't speak for the Bushes who had 20 of those 28 years, so I wouldn't put the Clintons <laughs> in the same category. Uh, but right. I think Hillary yeah, is an attractive candidate on her own, whether her husband was president or not. And, and what do you think during her time as senator or secretary of state during the campaign she'll point to as saying, this is a reason why you should elect me? Well, I, I can't, you know, I can't speak for her, but I think she's probably one of the most qualified people who's going to run. She's been secretary of state. She's been right next to the president of the United States for eight years. She was a U.S. senator and she was involved in education and other issues back in Arkansas for over 20 years. And one word answer, pretty easy, yes or no. Does Hillary Clinton run for president in 2016? I've seen some columns saying that she may just be happy being a grandmother and wouldn't really want to go through <laughs> such a rigorous process. One word, yes. My bet is that she's yes. running. Well, I, I agree with you, Mr. Hubble. And again, we appreciate you joining us on this holiday and being on the Steve Malsberg Show. You have a great Monday. Thanks for having me.
Sure, not a problem. Up next, columnist and contributing editor for TheRoot.com, David Swerlick. He joins us here in the Steve Malsberg Show. Joe Concha filling in on this Martin Luther King Monday. Back with more in just a moment.